The U.S. is due to start its nationwide booster shot campaign next week, but experts have advised against giving the extra jabs to young adults due to safety concerns. Meanwhile, Cuba has started administering shots to children as young as two. Our Kim Young Sung has more. A two-year-old child sits atop her mother's lap while she's getting her first COVID-19 jab. I was very doubtful and worried at the beginning, but then I got informed through social networks and television, and they really give guarantees that Silverana O2 is effective for children. Cuba this Thursday became the first country to inoculate COVID-19 doses to children as young as two by launching a massive vaccine rollout for ages two to ten with their home-produced vaccines. In Cuba, we have seen an increase in cases in pediatric ages. That is the reason why our scientific community first decided to take the vaccines to a clinical trial, both Soberana and Abdallah. Then, it was decided as a country to approve it in pediatric ages. Meanwhile, the U.S. sits at the other end of the spectrum, with vaccine experts discouraging administering Pfizer booster shots to young adults and teens over safety concerns. The majority of the U.S. FDA's Vaccines and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee on Friday voted against a nationwide booster shot campaign for all ages, especially when not enough data has been compiled to guarantee the shot's efficacy and safety. For the booster shot campaign to start next week, experts advise to dole out shots to only high-risk groups first, those 65 and over, and healthcare workers. I think we need the scientific evidence uh, uh, before we go forward with, with such a large and uh, important uh, campaign such as boosting. I really think within six months we'll, we'll have very clear answers uh, about this issue. Also on Friday, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, found that Moderna's COVID-19 vaccines are more effective in preventing hospitalization than those from its competitors. After collecting data from nearly 3,700 people, the CDC saw that Moderna vaccines were 93 percent effective, while Pfizer showed 88 percent and Johnson & Johnson showed 71 percent efficacy. Kim Hyun-sung, Arirang News.